What's up, boys? Back with some more Krant here. We do in the Warchief build again. 300% of your attack damage and 500% of your attack area whenever you dash, knocking back enemies. I gain a lot of attack damage in area as long as I don't attack. I have percent life regen, and I have some extra attack damage based on my life. So life is very strong here. I am unfortunately still missing the unique chest and belt that give you a ton of life, but you can see Warchief starts off pretty strong anyways. Uh. I'm mainly looking for Justice and Winter, but I'm not sure on the third one. Warped attack, kind of low damage, probably not. Death, I'm not sure on that. Let's see what else we got. Winter. Chilling attack is good because it has damage in area, but I'm not going to take Novice. I could grab this to get the dash out of the pool and then banish it later. The actual dash you take doesn't seem that important. I guess Justice is probably the best for the extra mobility. Death's um, Temporal Lord, I don't think I'm going to go there. 71% is actually not bad. But I don't think the other stuff he gives is super useful. Gym high wouldn't be bad. Huh, eh, I could try time. Um, do I want to take that? No, I have winter. I'll want to get that for the extra area. So I will probably just take Temporal Lord here to make it easier to get gym high. So that will lock me into yeah. winter, time, and hopefully justice on top of those. I can banish that. I can grab Force and Alteration Ritual. I guess I'll take Novice. I don't think I want to reroll. I like saving those for the Fates. Fates has several best in slot upgrades, plus one dash, plus 25% life, and attack critical strike chance are all extremely good. So I've been running the Justice Dash every time that I've tried so far, and I think that's going to end up being the best. Um, at purple, that's probably fine. I'll have to use one level to get it up to Master later. Some extra Master offers is very nice. Yeah, I don't think the Winter Dash is going to end up doing much. I'm going to one-shot most things and then knock the other stuff away. And then these small little shards aren't going to do a whole lot without some dash area. Oh, which very... I'm not really going to be scaling. Summer, nope. Looking for Justice, and I wouldn't mind either of these. But kind of want that at higher. Eh, maybe I can put some levels in it to pass my level ups, basically. Healing is very good for the percent region, and also Time the legendary that gives you XP when you're full on HP. I might want to wait on higher rarity for alteration. I can grab some more pickup radius for now. That's kind of useful for cast, but I could also just grab divine shield. More chilling attack. I want to clear out some of this stuff in here so that I'm more likely to get chilling attack since damage and attack area scale extremely well. More force, I suppose. I could alteration here. Sure. Piety is fine. I have three power slots. I want alteration and something else. Not sure what exactly. But I can take that for now. You know 
I do want the crit that's pretty low but you also don't get that many fates and I'll have a legend each time and the legends are very important here so I think I'm gonna get that out of the way and go ahead and start leveling that Getting the plus one dash is a massive upgrade. Let's see, extra mobility here. More XP. Pushing that until I get some higher rarity stuff here. Death. Um, probably wait for higher rarity there as well. I can probably well, if I get one cast, that will fill that up. And I want the divine shield, so I don't need to banish that stuff. Power, I do want that. So if I grab that and alteration ritual, then that will be clear. Yeah, the Winter Dash really not going to do much here. The early Justice Dash would get you some extra shrines and stuff. There's some pretty big shrines for this build. You can get Dash Recharge, Attack Area, a lot of it. So we did get Gym High, had to pass up Alteration for that. But the movement speed on that will help me get around a bit faster, even though I'm not going to be hitting with Warp Strike. Since I wanted the chilling one for the area and stuff anyways. War also has damage in area on the strike. Well, I guess technically strike is a completely different thing. The attack upgrade. And then has some useful legendaries. Without time. I do want divine shield. That only gets return damage, which is not very good for me. Probably banish that. I haven't run this with time yet, so this will be interesting to see at least. Oh yeah, can I? Nope, I can't put that on. Figured that would happen. But the run where I looted that unique, I was able to put it on and then run through the black fires. More piety. Still need another power, which is alteration. Then those will be out of the way without needing to ban them. Chilling attack is good. I do want those eventually. This is like the old school Poison Nova builds on like massive 10 million times as much steroids. Just need to get some movement speed to go with it. More 
chilling attack. Could alterate to try and find some legendaries, but getting both damage and area at the same time is pretty nice. More life? Eh, I'll take some early movement speed to get around a bit faster. And that'll help me get some other shrines. I guess I'll take that to get the cast slot filled. That'll clear up my blessings a little bit. so far this run. I think I'm going to banish that and alterate here. Frozen treasure is kind of nice. Ice shards is useless to me. Um, I can probably wait to get that at master since I'm going to keep getting winter levels over and over for the attack anyways. So I'll eventually hit it. Alteration at blue. Probably not. That's not great. Chilling attack is good. I probably should have taken alteration just to get the power slots filled actually. Probably just the no downside. I don't want to lose area or dash recharge. Don't really want to lose early movement speed either. The knockback actually seems to work on him, so he can't ever hit you anyways. He is very beefy now on some higher darkness. I guess I should banish that actually. That has more than five levels and I probably have enough pull from it now. Run away. It's going to be a lot of useless stuff from uh, Alteration Ritual for me since I don't attack at all. So all of the strikes are out. Grab some pickup. Can't even interact on the right side of that, what? Armor is okay. It's actually very good for survivability, I just don't really seem to need any on top of the HP and region I typically have. In 
infinity. Taste of time. It's honestly not terrible, but it does make you not able to benefit from damage against full life. Gym high is pretty nice, but it's definitely nowhere near as insane as with Warped Strike. More healing. I don't think any of these work for me. All the other runs I had the Justice Legendary pretty early to get some extra XP as well. Don't seem to be getting that here. Grab some XP. Um, that's okay. 50% life or more will still work. Alteration. Also, usually got the plus one dash pretty early. Strike, cast, power, summon. Um, duration on power would be decent. And there we go. Chilling attack, sure. So this is actually my weakest run with the Kron build so far. Cass, that's pretty bad. Let's get that out of here. Peace, there we go. Finally got it. More life and armor. It has chilling attack every time until I get master stuff. Cast? Nope, should probably banish that. More XP. Strikes, that's bad. I guess Alteration Ritual unlocks a bunch of junk that you can get but not really use. So I'm thinking time is probably not the play for this build. 
Um, rarity upgrade. Hmm, probably just movement speed. It's definitely Winter plus Justice Core, and then not exactly sure on the last one. Could grab those at purple, but I don't think there's really any reason to. And I can keep scaling damage and waiting. More life. The more you more alteration. Grab some huge attack area. Remember, that's five times as much on the dash thing. No more time now. My damage is kind of low without the fourth dash, but super tanky at least. Ew, I don't want that. Chilling attack is fine. Probably save the rerolls for the fates. Dash recharge is insane. Dash recharge is also insane. No, why? Why alteration ritual? Why? I guess keep pumping the guidance until that gets higher. Oh, I was supposed to reroll there. Oops. More XP. More luck. Area, I think. Get that up to the entire screen. Um, I guess I'll take the rarity. That would allow alteration to max it out. No! And I'm not 100% sure that crit works, it just seems like it does to me. Had a run earlier where I was getting like 600k crits towards the end with the master crit maxed out. The daughter Protection. XP shrine combo, love to see it. More 
are chilling. I guess I'm just never going to get the other stuff, even though I have 25.6% master. Well, I guess you just have to whine about it. Um, probably shatter. I might not even have a source of freezing currently, now that I think about it. I have the dash, but that's not really going to hit stuff. Yeah, I think I actually hate Alteration Ritual on this build. More nothing. There we go, fleet-footed. I've been getting that pretty early in the runs, but it's a massive upgrade. We chillin' now with chillin' attack. Why? Alteration? I need to banish shrine so bad, but they're weak on this map. More movements. Um, probably just the 50% HP damage. are all pretty good. suppose I'll take the legend. The longer duration is actually pretty nice so that you get all of the debuffs that your freeze applies more often. Like extra damage taken or extra attack damage. Grab some of those. Um, Frost Dragon is probably the worst legendary. 120% damage is pretty huge. More chilling. Eh, I'll grab that to get the loot here. And even more loot since I'm fine. My damage will be a bit lower, but doesn't seem like it'll really matter. Can't kill the boss instantly, but he shouldn't really be able to hurt me either. Or attack area, don't mind if I do. It's going off screen on the top and bottom now. More useless. Dash recharge for the final boss, extremely nice. Puts me at 1.11 for each of the charges. More chilling attack. More guidance, could reroll, but oh well. That 90% dash recharge is so silly when you have so many dashes. I will try and get a higher life roll now. There we go. First strike only lasts for one hit, so I think the life is probably a bit better overall. First strike is funny for big numbers though.
more life. Yeah, he didn't even hit me, even though I can take a lot of hits with the 565. So I've got 2700%. Normally I get a bit over 3000, it seems like. Some extra area, 1172. That's multiplied times five for the dash. That's times three for the dash. Decent amount of HP. A lot of region from justice as well. Some nice healing here. Pretty good armor as well, if they can even hit me. Taste of Time did okay, got that pretty early, but nothing really compares to Warchief when you're scaling that here. Some random alteration ritual stuff. I didn't really like Time there. I think I like the Justice Dash the most. Death Dash might work if you want some extra healing, but probably not necessary. Chim High was kind of nice, but... This was definitely my weakest version of the build yet. I did get fleet footed pretty late compared to normal. And inner peace was a little bit late as well. Eighty five life is a decent amount, but legend offers pretty nice. Interact with the location, Armageddon. Two strike projectiles. That could work there. Might save that for him. 180% power damage. I don't think Maris really has power stuff though. Life region, eh. Still can't get the unique chest or belt that would be best in slot for this build, unfortunately. But I'm gonna keep going. Hopefully get them eventually. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.